Hey, what's up everybody? Chris Souter, Slender Cat Outdoors, back with you again today. And today we're back here on the High River. It's early May, got a tank full of bait, got a cooler full of bait, and we are gonna do some flathead fishing. So stick around. I'm gonna get some baits on, get some weights on, and get some rods in the water. Let's do this. Now we're gonna be using a bunch of different bait today, but here on the board we got some moon eye. Oh. Got some skipjack, and then got a gizzard shad. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start by just cutting, chunking these up, not real big pieces. Just kind of see what they want. Nice, fresh, gooey skipjack. Caught these local. And then, of course, a moon eye. We're ready to put them on some hooks. Now, I'm going to be using live and cut bait. Now, I'm going to put this skipjack head on. What we're going to do is we're going to take it right through the bottom of his lip where it kind of opens up. And then right out through that nostril right there. It kind of sets at an angle. Man, that's a nice piece of bait. Now on this double hook piece, this double hook rig here, this is a double hook Kentucky rig with a dot or seven dot Diachis on it. I'm gonna put two pieces of cut gizzard shad. I'm gonna put the head on the bottom, which I don't think it really matters. And I'm gonna do it the same way, right up to that nostril. Then this top piece, we don't have a bunch of current, maybe uh, 0.5, just like, I don't know, it's really, really, really good current, you know, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. Uh, but I'm gonna hook that right through the guts and then kind of out that rib meat, just like that. Now on this one, I'm gonna put a live gizzard, Chad. Well, he's frisky. <laughs> And I'm gonna hook him right behind that back fin, right at the top. Make sure you get them scales off there. He's ready to go, I'll go ahead and put him out. Now what we're fishing is a, uh, you got a flat on this side and then a ledge that comes comes off pretty steep uh, kind of behind us down into like 39, 40 foot. And there's some wood and, and just uh, rock and different structure uh, right along that edge and that's what we're fishing right now. We'll give them a little bit of time, see if they, see if they want any of these baits we've got out here. All right, so we've been here for about 30 minutes. Uh, caught a couple little channel cats, not what we're after today. You know, in May we expect big flatheads. So, so gonna move up, change up a little bit, get out of this deeper water, go up and uh, anchor up on some shallow, shallower wood, kind of change things up till we can figure out what they want. Oh man, I didn't even get all the rods out. Oh yeah, this is nice. 
I was going to put the bimini down because the sun's finally coming out. But I didn't even get a chance to do that. <laughs> oh, and I just realized something. I forgot a dip net. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, that first spot was up there in some deeper water. It's about 40 foot of water on some rock, wood mixed together, and I decided to come down a little bit further. Found a tree out here in about 25 foot of water. And he actually come from the inside. Uh, of that you know more towards the shallow side more like 15 foot oh yeah big old nice flat head baby Come here, Big Papa. Oh, I love it. Get another bite behind me. Beautiful fish. Healthy. Healthy, healthy, healthy. All right, we got a picture of him. Let's turn him back loose. Beautiful, beautiful fish. There. All right, well, you guys be careful. All right, love you. Oh, oh, oh my goodness! I thought that was a channel cat biting that thing. I was talking to my wife. And all of a sudden it went south, baby. Started ripping drag. <laughs> yes. Now this is on a couple, uh, let's see, small pieces of moon eye, double hook rig. I believe this is a good fish here. It just feels like dead weight. This is liable. This be one of the ones we're after, I think. Got another bite over there. There he goes. There he goes. <laughs> yes, baby. Oh yeah. We're doubled up. That's why I like them monster rod holders. You can leave it in a rod holder. You ain't got to worry about it. As long as you got your drag set, as long as you got your a good reel. Yeah, baby. Oh. 
I'm telling you what, son, we got a good one here. baby what a day to forget your net I don't want you looky there baby <laughs> yeah I'm gonna lay him. Look at this right here. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm gonna get this rock completely out of the way so we can get that other one in. Unfortunately, that one, that, that second one got off. Oh! <laughs> Look at that bad boy. I don't know what he weighs, but he's a dandy, son. I'm going to get a picture with him, turn him back loose. One last look at him before we let him loose. Whoo, what a fish. I just missed this fish. Setting up on the same stuff we've been setting up on all day. At 25 to 30 foot wood structure. And it didn't take him maybe 10 minutes. Like I said, I actually missed him to start with. And I just dropped it, let it go right back down where he where it was at. And he come back for it. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is on Moon Eye too. Another nice flathead. Nope, that was bluegill head. No bluegill head. More look that low. Nice little flathead. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Now, something I did, I have picked up on today is 
the rods with either a double hook Kentucky rig or a three-way rig like this one seem to be getting more hits and catching more fish those little details like that are things that you need to keep in mind you know keep in the back of your head and keep an eye on uh, you know we had uh, we had a couple of them that were right flat flat on bottom and they didn't seem to really be producing anything so I started changing them changing it up put in dropper loops on one of the three ways and that's going to elevate it up up into the water column you know a foot or so and uh, that seems to be helping out a little bit so we'll get these back out there but that's probably going to do it for this video today i want to thank you guys for watching hopefully you enjoyed today's video hopefully you're able to learn something take something and apply it in your neck of the woods and until next time i want to thank you guys for watching tight lines and god bless